It's your boy. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. You know, whatever. It's uh, uh, Potato Lord here, and I mean Lord Potato. And this is the What If Naruto Was Half Senju and Half Ujiyo, Part 4. Now, after this, I'm actually gonna do the uh, Hollow one. Wait, no. No, after I watch a movie, I'm, I'm gonna watch a movie first. As of that, I'm gonna do a filler <laughs> for that one. Why? Because I want to do something with that. Now, I know I'm moving a lot of me. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, this is a part four, and yeah. Problem child. I'm a problem child also. Oh no. Uh, what's it called? Um. So the last time we left off is where the Konoha crush happens, and of course, Naruto takes half of Chicago away with a jutsu he has in his Sharingan. I'm gonna say it's his left eye that he can manage to just take uh Biju's chakra away, like the so in chakra away, like 50% away. So, of course, he took 25% away from Minto and 25% from uh, what's it called? Menma. So, of course, both uh, Menma and Minto. Minto has 24, and what's it called? Menma has 25. So, after that, what's it called? Naruto went to go retrieve Sasuke, but really Naruto's whole mission was to get out of the village and leave permanently, never come back. His mission is to also get the other Chinchurikis, like half uh, chocolate and all that. So he's right now just like rushing towards uh, Sasuke, the others get stopped by the Sound 4. Naruto told the Sound 4 not to kill them, and... Of course, the sound for doesn't kill them, just hurt them really bad. And now to the bone guy. The bone guy was like, I'm not letting you near uh, Sasuke, Naruto. And Naruto's like, oh, you don't need any let me, uh, to me be near Sasuke. I'm not even trying to retrieve him. And bone guy was like, wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember what the bone guy's name again. Kimaru? Ken Kenmaru? Something like that. Which, yeah. Naruto, was it Kenmaru? Or was that the other spider guy? Fuck. Ah, fuck it. Whatever. I'm gonna keep calling the bone guy. Sam's. You wanna call him Sam's then? He summoned a lot of bones. So I can get, I'm Sam's. So sad he doesn't say any puns though. Um, so Naruto, he just says, I just gotta get near to Sasuke and punch him in the face. One guy was like, I'm not letting you do that. Naruto says, you don't need to let me do that. Shh, summons blue flames. Manipulation them to grab the bone guy and pull him down to the ground. And if he tries to do any bones, every time he uses a bone, since these flames are pretty hot, it melts the bones. So it was just confusing him. He couldn't do anything. Naruto just says, goodbye. He rushes at Sasuke. Sasuke is now at the valley at the end and he sees Naruto and he just says, Naruto, do you not see the power I hold? <laughs> do you think you can be anywhere near me? Do you think you can bring me back to that damn village? I'm not going back there. And Naruto says, I'm not here to get you back to the damn village. I'm here to beat your ass. And Sasuke was like, what? And Naruto, just like, Flash like did a flash step like right in front of him, and then they just like punch him in the face, smashing his face into Hashirama. Yeah, basically he just punched him so hard that he just smashed what's it called Sasuke into Hashirama, and Naruto says, "Now goodbye, Uchiha. I'm leaving, and I'm also leaving my with my own Sharingan and Senju powers." And Sasuke was like, 
what the hell are you talking about before he's gonna pass out? He saw the shutting of this Naruto head. He's like, goodbye. See ya. Teleports away. And then the, um, then, uh, what's it called? Sasuke passes out. Kabuto managed to find him. And Naruto says, there's your Chiha. And Kabuto's like, thank you, Naruto. You just knocked him out really hard. Okay, well. And Naruto says, yeah, you can take him. At least the pedophile won't go after me, right? And let's call. Kabuto was like, please don't call Lord uh, Uchimaru a pedophile. No, he won't go after Uzumaki. Naruto says, but you see here. I'm not an Uzumaki. I was never an Uzumaki Namikaze. And Kabuto's like, what are you talking about? He activated his Sharingan. And Naruto says, I am a Sharing I am a Uchiha Senju. And Kabuto was like, What? How? No, that's that's impossible. It's not impossible when your actual real family decided banning you with the Fort Hokage. And then the four Hokage mistreats you. And so Kabuto's like, Now nah, that kind of does explain a little, right? But, then again, dang, whatever. And then Naruto says, well, goodbye. He teleports away. And Kabuto's like, I gotta tell this to uh, Laura tomorrow. And uh, Naruto's right now running away. And when the other Genins were getting their asses kicked, the Jonins came and the Sound 4 left. Um, so, of course, they get to the spot where Sasuke's at. They find out that Sasuke's been taken over by Ochimaru, but they can't find Naruto. And so, Team 7 right now is fully just not even there. Naruto isn't even in the village. They found out that... Half of the Ninetales between Menma and Mento are actually gone. And Karama does kind of talks with Mento and says that half your, well, half my chakra is gone because of your stupid non actual brother. And Mento was like, wait, what do you mean non actual brother? And Karama said, well, since your dumbass family thinks that they're actually, he's actually part of your family, like Uzumaki and Namikaze, you see here, your brother, Naruto, is actually Uchiha and Senju. The real family kind of just left in between the Fort Hokage, thinking that would be the third child. He's not even the third child of your family. So, of course, Minto kind of does explain this to, uh, what's it called, uh... What's it called? Min uh, Minato? And Minato's like shocked. He's like, Senju and Uchiha. Fuck. And Don so overheard it. He says, He said, Wait, the fuck you mean? He he had a great excuse to, um, he went to the council and he called a council meeting with the two elders. And, um, they found out that Don so explained to the, um, uh, to the uh, councils, uh, council members and the elders that Naruto wasn't even Uzumaki or Namikaze. You see here, he was Uchiha with Senju. And everyone's shocked. And then they kind of looked at Minato's DNA and Kushina's with the other two kids. And they found out that they don't even have any Senju or Uchiha in there. But then they asked Donzo, how do you know this? Donzo said, cuz. Uh, Donzo actually managed to get a little bit of blood from Naruto. How? Well, Naruto one day was, was, what's it called? When he was getting beaten up by the villagers and all that? Um, Naruto, what's it called? Uh... Donzo wanted to figure out how to get the nine toes. So when some of the blood got splattered on the ground, cause yeah, the blood was just beating up Naruto. Donzo said, "Well, I'm gonna take some of that blood." And now when he overheard that, he wasn't even 
a Uzumaki and a Mikaze, he checked the blood. So this is the blood where the villagers were beating him up. I was going to use some of this blood to see if he had the Nine Tails. Found out that Mento and Menma has the Nine Tails. And they said, ah. They glare at Minato and Minato's like, shit. And then, uh. He showed the difference between Minato, Kushina, Menma, and Mento, and Naruto. So Naruto, a senju with Uchiha blood inside him. Menma, a Uzumaki Wanamakaze. Uh, Mento, a Uzumaki Wanamakaze. Minato, a, uh, what's it called? Full Namakaze. And Kushina, a full, uh, a full, full Uzumaki. So you see here, by the way, that Naruto was never a Namakaze Uchiha. Instead, he was, I mean, not, uh, Uzumaki Uchiha, uh, no, not that. Uzumaki Namakaze. He was always a Uchiha Senju. So... Now that Naruto decides to leave because of the poor Hokage deciding not to take a goddamn blood test because he didn't like the child. A prince, probably to the Senju, has just been abused. And everyone just felt terrible. They're like, oh shit, Senju Uchiha? Fuck. <laughs> and Don's and I explain that probably Naruto had a great chance to fully leave the village. And they're like, fuck! <laughs> ah, shit, we let... We let a prince... Well, they don't know if he had the monkey town or not. The witch child. So, they're like... So, shit, even... Even how he wasn't related to Senju Hashirama... The problem is, he could have had the monkey town. He does have shotting guns, by the way. He's an Uchiha, right? But a very intelligent Uchiha. Because he managed to escape everyone. Now, since that happened, Naruto has just left the village in total. Now, he could have been a the next generation of the Senju. A prince holder. A... Someone that could actually replenish the Senju and Uchiha. But, thanks to Namakase Minato, we could not get that chance no more. He has left the village. He could die any time. Or he can try to get revenge on the village. And all the council members, even the elders, just said, Fuck! And they all looked at Minato and they said, Okay, Minato. Since we don't really want to trust you as a Hokage no more, we're taking your Hokage uh, license away and making the fifth Hokage. Hmm. Who would be the best Hokage? Asuma. Uh, Asuma. Since Haruzen was sort of uh, related to him. So Asuma would become the new... Fit Tokage. And also I was like, wait, what? So, yeah. And, um... Now, back to Naruto. Naruto's right now running and all that. And he actually came across... Uh, what's it called? The Seven Tails. Because he was right now in the waterfall. Or waterfall village. And some ninjas did try to attack him and all that. But Naruto easily ran through them in absolute body to them like there were nothing but just peasants to them peasants to him he found the seven tails and that is food he managed to beat the crap out of food very easily and actually took half the chakra and soul of the seven tails and Archer just says good I took half of it and of course uh, now he's just running around also what happened to uh, Gara Right now, he is back in the uh, sand village, but he isn't crazy and all that. Not that much. Uh, uh, uh. 
Sorry. So, after that, Naruto is now going towards, uh, what's it called? He's now going towards, what's it called? Mm. Sorry, I... Ah, uh, wait. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> so, now he's just running around trying to find the other Chinchurkis. So, he's right now in a small village, just kind of living out, but at the same time, he also want to explore. He want to see the world. So, of course, instead of going after the Cherokees and actually taking half of it, which he managed to mix the one tails and nine tails and seven tails, but it was incomplete. It looks like the Chinchurki that was kind of new inside of Naruto, kind of wasn't fully merged with those beings. So it didn't work for Naruto to actually use the chakra. So of course he has to use the one toes, seven toes, and nine toes separately. So it annoyed Naruto really bad. So of course he's just going towards the six toes. He found out where the six toes is at. Also, since the Akazis right now going after the Jinshurgis, after three years, no, two years, should I say, because Naruto's not 14. And now Naruto, Naruto's now just like running around. He finds the six tails, the six tails was like, who are you? <laughs> and Naruto just says nothing but puts him under a gun, and then uses his, uh, what's it called, Mon internal shining on internal monokyo wait EMS Sharingan ability to just take half of his chakra and say stinks and then teleports and then the six tails still felt weak he was like what the he's like damn it what the hell just happened now Naruto has six tails so now Naruto it has just went through a while and he actually found the five tails the five tails kind of rushed at him using steam, uh, like steam and yeah, steam to block Naruto's vision. But since Naruto's in Uchiha, and since he can see through the steam pretty easily, Naruto easily just rushes as um the five tails and grabs him from the head or not head. I must say the seal is probably in the back. So Naruto kind of grabs him from the head and smashes him to the ground. But then the five toes gets back up. And then Naruto gets him from the back and takes like half of the five toes. And then the five toes Chinchurki user was just feeling weak and so he fell down. He's like, what the, what the hell was that? Also, this, this like what's called um, taking the half of the Chinchurki's powers. Actually makes uh, makes it faster since Naruto has a faster ability to absorb it. Well, he only takes half because you know, I don't know. He just feels like taking half of it. Even how he can actually just take fully, but if he wants to take the full version, it will actually cost him more energy to like actually not contain it. Mostly take it. So that's why he only takes half. And so he's right now just running around. He finds the... What's it called? Four tails? So he finds uh, Roshi and Son Goku. So the four tails. And Naruto's like, what the? Who are you? Roshi was like, who are you? Naruto says, none of your business. So Naruto rushes him. And Roshi does lava style. Hits Naruto. But since Naruto has Senju inside him, and I did say he has super healing, Naruto heals pretty fast. He's like, you little shit. And Roshi was like, what the hell? Very fast healing. And he can feel the one tails, six tails, five tails, seven tails, and even nine tails inside of Naruto. And so uh, Roshi doesn't know why he feels that many chakras, signatures inside Naruto. And so Roshi was like, I'm not letting you be anywhere near me. 
Lava saw. Lava. Lava domain. Not, not domain. Dome. Lava dome. And he puts in the ground, and the lava dome kind of gets on Naruto. And Naruto's like, he starts burning and all of that. But Naruto sends you uh, blood. It's healing super fast. It's super healing. So, of course, it goes, ding, 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 ding. And Naruto is fully just healed. He's like, that's pretty easy. That's in my turn. Rasengan. Chidori. And Naruto's like, you think you can dodge this? And so Roshi does another lava style. This time the lava style is stronger than the last one. But Naruto just uses the Rasen Chidori to just go through the lava style. And then it goes straight to Roshi. But Naruto doesn't want to actually kill Roshi. So of course he lets go of it. But hits Roshi in the stomach. Taking some of the four tails chakra. And rips it out. And then Naruto has now four tails. And Roshi falls down. He's, he falls down on one knee. He's like, what the? What the hell did he do to me? Naruto says, absolutely nothing. Nothing is your concern. Now, goodbye. Teleports away. Now, Naruto is just like, hmm. Naruto is right now flying around with his blue flames on his feet. Just like Shimra. And um, he managed to find the three tails. Where? Because he was actually near. He was actually near the land of wave. Because he kind of heard that the three tails is right now. How should I say? Out in the ocean. Kind of just like wandering around since the uh, three tails from Turkey kind of died a while ago. And so the three tails just formed back. And so Naruto found him. And since Naruto's just a, uh, this three tails is gonna be one annoying thing to fight. The three tails fought Naruto. Naruto just using his blue flames to fly around, and um, of course the three tails is getting annoyed, so he's doing water styles at Naruto, and Naruto's flying around pretty easily dodging him. And then he does fire manipulation. So okay, he summoned blue flames. He summons blue flames, and these blue flames were all around Naruto. And then he managed to make the sword, uh, managed to make weapons out of the blue flames and start launching them at the three tails. The three tails is using water styles to the flames, but the problem is these flames are hotter than the Amaterasu. So think about it: if water cannot affect uh, affect the Amaterasu, these flames are just going through the water style. And the three tails is like, what the? He gets like hit by every single attack. And since Naruto is the only one to actually let go of the flames from burning the three tails, Naruto then does something else. Since Naruto is just pretty smart, he was like, I know those things aren't gonna really affect him that much. Well, I mean, they are pretty powerful. So I guess I'm just gonna have to use this Susano. It's the perfect Susano. And so he kinda just slashes down on the three tails. And the three tails is just backed over, kinda just like down. Because Naruto beat his ass so easily. Naruto jumped on him and takes some of the chakra and so with him. And so the three tails feels weak now. He's like, what the? Well, I can't. I. Shit. Naruto says, don't worry. I just have some of your chakra. Now. Time to find the two tails. The Nibi and the Octo. So he now teleports. And, um. Yeah. But before teleporting from the mess. He kind of just thought. I heard there were powerful users of the bloodline here. Maybe I can try to copy it. No, that is true. So when the what's it called? Min Mino? Uh, I forgot her name. Is it? The Mr. Kage kind of was like just like the one with long hair, red sort of brown, I think so. 
She was just like now in the uh, what's it called? Uh, the new Mizukage. The whole Super War kind of in a while ago, and Naruto is now there. And Naruto's like, maybe I should stay in a village for a while. Maybe copy some better, powerful Kekagenkai. So of course Naruto actually fought a bunch of Kekagen, uh, Kekagen, Kekagen. Kai's or yeah he fought them and then he didn't kill them he just learned a bunch of juices from them and let's pass so it was the two years or he said it was two years no wait Naruto is I said it was I should have said it's one year in the past when Naruto was kind of collecting those Jinjurgis and now another year passes when Naruto was learning a bunch of gang gang guys no, so what Kekagen guys did he learn? Since the Mist Village is just full of probably water stars, Kekagen guys. So, Storm Release was one of them. Sort of. He kind of managed to find one person that was from the Cloud Village and actually have Storm Release. And copy that juicer pretty easily. There was someone else that survived that was an ice user. The Naruto also just copy. And Naruto is now walking out of the village. Then now he has ice and storm release. He found out that he can combine the Chinchurigi's uh, powers with the Rasengan's. So of course Naruto has different Rasengan's. But he wants to find out how to throw a Rasengan instead of like having it in his hand. So he thought of putting wind chakra in it. So of course he makes wind out of it. A wind shuriken. With the Jinjurgi ability he had. So of course he throws at a tree. It kind of blows up and all that. He's like this is interesting. Yes. Yes this is good. And then Naruto. Since he had all five uh, nature chakras. So this was still his feet. 15. And he just decided to learn about his five chakra natures he can do he can do every single thing every single thing that's similar to a Kenkai. so of course lava release um ice release wood release yes he managed to do wood release but that's just because of his chakra natures they're kind of weaker than the actual Kenkai's, but that's just because naruto has the chakra natures only. So Naruto's like, this is wood style. Interesting. Just like the first Hokage. This is interesting. Yeah, this is very interesting. So he managed to make a Rasengan. This time, he wanted to uh, put the, uh, what's it called? The Lava Sayo uh, user, the Fort Chinchuriki, into the Rasengan. And then make a Chidori. But instead of just being a normal Chidori, it will be a black Chidori. And then he mix it together to make this Lava Rasengan Chidori. So of course, black Chidori. And he just rushes at the tree and the tree just be gone with just one attack. And now it's just like, this is interesting. I can combine abilities. I'm very strong. Now, I can definitely go destroy the village. Should I though? Hmm. Nah, I'm actually going to still go after the Two tells another. So of course, skip another year. It's now sixteen. Um, Mento and uh, what's it called Menma did kind of went to training with Jiraiya and all that. And, uh, 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 and since what's it called, Jiraiya kind of trained them on all that, but could not train them fully. Um. Okay, so yeah, Naruto is just like now, just like, hmm, this is interesting. Now he's 16. Of course, Naruto's hair is a little bit longer than usual because he hasn't cut it because there's no way in hell he can actually cut it. Well, I mean, he can, but at the same time, he's kind of not lazy, but he just wants to keep training. 
to get a little bit more stronger. He found out he can actually go into a similar stage with KCM. But this KCM is kind of not mixture with the other Chinchurikis. But instead he can do an individual Chinchuriki kind of KCM. So of course it'd be... So it'd be SCM instead. Because Chicago uh, Chakra Cloak. Wait. No way. So Chicago Chakra Mode, uh, Three Tails Chakra Mode, and so on and so on. Naruto can actually do that pretty easily, but his uh, Chicago Chakra Mode is kind of silver, since of course he can control silver sand, and so since he actually figured that out because he was going against a bandit. That actually had a bunch of silver in his bag. And another person that actually has gold. Because they managed to steal some uh, gold and silver. Naruto managed to actually control the silver. How? Well, he couldn't. At the same time. And so, so the bandit was like, you're not matching me. And Naruto just slices through the guy pretty easily. And managed to actually slice the, uh, what's it called, the silver into absolute nothing. He was like, shit, I fucked that up. But Naruto noticed that he can actually control it. So, he can manage to control the broken, well, cut down silver bits and all that. And actually make those bits turn into like a silvery sand. So the atoms just between them just kind of become sand instead. So now Naruto can control the silver sand that he has on him. So Naruto was like, this is interesting. And the other guy was like, what is interesting? Naruto says, nothing. Now just die. And so Naruto crushes that guy. And also control the gold silver. I mean, silver with the gold. So the silver went on, silver sand went on the gold. And so that gold was turned into gold sand instead. And Naruto notices he was controlling both silver and gold. I was, he was interesting. He was like, the more materials like this I can control. Interesting. So of course he has uh what's it called the gourd also, like the uh, what's it called the little base thing that what's it called uh Gara had. But it's much smaller. And Naruto can actually just put all the sand in there. And Naruto's like, this is good. More power that I have and all that. And now Naruto is 16. So of course, Data and... As... Wait. Wait a moment. Okay, so Data and Sorcery... Or after the one tells, of course, Mento and Menma had to go get him. But the problem was, when the Akatsu were extracting the one tells, they just noticed that the one tells had half, which confused the shit out of all of them. They were like, "What the? Why does he only has half?" So yeah, and so Hiran and Kakuzu are going to get the two tails, and Naruto actually uh, noticed the two tails chakra, and he says. So the two tails, it's going to be much easier when she's just knocked out, taking half of that. And so he saw Hiran and Kakuzu, he made shadow clones. And those shadow clones were, of course, kind of fighting Kakuzu and Hiran. And Naruto got to, uh, what's it called, the two tails. And, of course, Naruto extracted only, like, half of it. And put it in himself, he says, I'm one more time closer. I'm one step closer. And then Kakuzu did try to fight Naruto and saying, hey, get away from the two tails. And Naruto says, okay, I'll go. I get away. And he says, my sorry, I thought you guys were uh, what's called Lightning Shinobi. And Kakuzu was hyped. No, we are not Lightning Shinobi. We are the Akatsis. And Naruto says, ah, I'm sorry about that. So Kakuzu and Hiran did not notice Naruto extracted some of the uh, 
Navy's chakra. And so Naruto's like, this is good. But, you're wondering, how can he control all of those chinchurkeys? You notice that he has a shotgun. So basically, he puts them all to sleep so he can control their power easily. And Naruto is now just going to, um, he's just leaving. He says, okay, I'll leave you on with your, uh, lightning catcher person. Don't care. He leaves. And Hiran and Kakuto are confused, but they still take the two tails. And when they get her to, uh, the Akatsis, when they extract the, the two tails, they found that it was only half. And they're just dumbfounded. Like, who has the other rest of it? They're just so dumbfounded. Like, what the fuck is happening? And Naruto's like, huh. This is very interesting. Now, he's ha having to wondering, how the hell do I get into a cloud village and get that eight tails? Until he realized, he's like, he has so many powers. He can just do a giant subtract. Uh, so, uh, distraction. And this is what he did. He did multiple shadow clones. And turned all those shadow clones into Leaf Shinobi. So it looked like it was an evasion between the Leaf Shinobis. The Leaf Ninja. So of course he's now just telling all those shadow clones to go in and all that. So of course they're now attacking the uh, Cloud Village. And the Raikage is angry. He's like, so those damn Leaf Ninjas decide to attack us. Attack harder, yeah! Killer B is right now about to go to the fight and all that. You're like, yeah! And Naruto appears. He's like, sorry, I'm not letting you go in there. And Killer B is like, yo, 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 something, something, something. I can't think of anything, so blah, blah, blah. And Naruto says, you are annoying. Shut up and go to sleep. Yeah, he fell asleep. Naruto's like, good. Takes half of the eight tails and leaves. And when, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? The Raikage kind of managed to kill all those fake shadow clones. He was like, what the hell? The only shadow clones. They all poof away. And when Raikage went to go check on Killer B, he found him knocked out. And so Raikage was like, wake up, fool. Uh, then... Uh, what's it called? B was like, I am a wolf, brother. Why do I feel weak? And Raikai was like, what do you mean you feel weak? He said, I feel weak. Like, half of my egg tails is gone. And the Raikai was like, impossible, how? Could that be just a distraction by the leaf village? Damn those leaf ninjas! Yeah. So the Akashi took down the three tails, extracted it, only 50%, which pissed him off so many times. They're like, why is there only 50% in these Chichurikis? And so uh, Naruto is now training secluded from everyone. He's like on a small island because he got there. And he just started just using all the chakra that he got, all the nine different Chichurikis. And then he just decided to combine them all together. And combine them with his own, like, other abilities, like the other five chakra ninjas and all that. And when he was combining the Jinchurikis and his mindscape, he felt like this presence. Not presence from around him, but presence inside him. The problem was, the nine Jinchurikis were combining into the ten tails. But instead of being the ten tails, so instead of being the ten tails, since Naruto actually had a bunch of chakra from his Senju side and Uchiha side, so so much chakra from those sides that he actually would come, um, just had the ch Jubi instead of going like making him go Naruto insane, it actually. Obey Naruto's command and all that. Like he was okay with Naruto. And Naruto, when he actually unlocked the Jubi, he actually unlocked the Renegon after that. So his Renegon 
was a complete different one. So, of course, it's a red Renegon. It's the red Renegon like the Tomoe is inside it. It's the Renegon, red Renegon, whatever they call Uh, So, yeah, Naruto unlocked those. And it's so much powerful than the normal Renegon. He's like, this is such a great power boost. He can also go into the case, well, the Juby chakra mode. And he's now right now in the Sage of Six Path. And Naruto's like, so this is how it feels. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, the Ashura and Indra that was inside him kind of met Naruto. And he was like, who the hell are you two? And Indra was like, hello there. My name is Indra Uchiha. And this is my brother Ashura. Uh, Senju. It seems that you are both our reincarnations. It seems like that you managed to collect all nine tails chinchurikis and making the chubi. But instead of being the chubi, it looks like instead of being ten tails, it's twelve tails. Because you're a mount chakra of the Senju side and also the Uchiha side. And instead of being a normal Renegon that you got, it's like a shutting Renegon that you have. So, of course, I'll show you which one he got. So, Nakta has this eye, but in both of his eyes. Naruto has both of them, the red rainy shining gun in both his eyes. So, of course, Naruto's eyes are much powerful than Nagato's. So, Naruto's amazed. He's like, so I do have these eyes. Were you the ones to give it to me? And then I was like, that... Is the fact that we actually came here. We did give you some of our chakra. Just a little bit. But let's say like your Senju and Jiha side. Kind of made it for you. Which is surprising to see. Which. Since you are the prophecy child. Don't go destroying the world for like. I now notice what my mistake did. Since I am the first creator of the Jiha. And Naruto looks at him like, so you're, so you're that person. And then Indra said, yes, and you are Ashura, the Senju side, with the Uzumaki side also. And Senju said, yes. So, we'll be here to share our power, but don't go after destroying everyone. You will have to go fight against someone named against Kaguya. Since this is our like grandmother descendant, whatever from our father. But now since we see our mistake what we did, don't let her be revived. It looks like the Akatsis or whatever their name is are trying to get the nine tails all all nine tails to revive Kaguya back. And it's rather if they aren't allowed to do that. Even how you are, should I say, one of the strongest, strongest ninjas out there. It's better if you train with those abilities and how to use them. Even how your IQ is very smart. One of the geniuses levels. Now since Naruto's right now at least god level. Naruto decides to just start training for another couple of months and all that. The Akatsis has been as are the Jinchurikis, but the Jinchurikis only have 50% inside them. So basically, they're so angry that why the hell do they only have 50%? The Leaf Village, the other uh, villages managed to kill some of the ninjas. So, what's it called? Da da and what's it called? South City were just going around trying to look for the Chinchurikis until they came across Naruto. And Naruto's like, those two look very powerful. Maybe they will give me a nice challenge. So, of course, he jumps up there. He's right now floating. And he says, hello there, good sir. Will you give me a good fight? Both of you. So, of course, South City and Dedaro was like, what the hell? How can you fly? 
Until Daira remembers his, like, old master from the Stone Village, the Susukai, the Ish, the Shusukage, who can, like, fly because of that one jutsu he had. So, of course, Daira just throws some bombs at him, and Naruto easily just, like, blows him all away with, like, wind south. And he says, no, that's no way to attack someone and activate his Renegon. Red Rini Shining Gun. And Teirara and Sasori was like, what the? That looks like the, uh, like the Master's, uh, Renegon. But instead it's red and has Tomoe, it's like a Shining Gun. What the hell is this power and chakra? They feel the chakra immense and coming off from Naruto. And Naruto's like, <laughs> you won't survive this, would you? And they were like, what do you mean survive? And Naruto easily goes after Deirara and instantly just kills him with a sword. And teleports right behind him and then slices through him. And then teleports again multiple times and slashing him into nothing but pieces. And so Deirara is dying. He's, he's like floating down. He's like falling down. And of course, he's like, what the... And he managed to do his hand, ka, uh, whatever, like he does to blow up the bird. And Sasori was like, you dumbass. Oh. So, of course, Sasori lands on the ground. And Naruto is even unfazed by it. Not even phased by it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he looks into Sasori's eyes and legit puts him in the Genjutsu. The infamous Genjutsu. And Naruto walks up to Sasori. And Sasori cannot get out of this Genjutsu at all. It's infamous, so of course there's no time limit. And so Naruto's like, Oh well, time for you to die. Puts out his sword and just slices his neck off. So of course, he's dead. And so, uh, when Madara, or should I say the masked man, has overheard about Sasori and Deirara dying to a child with yellow hair. Or should I say, not yellow hair, but blue hair. Kind of looks like Naruto Uzumaki, but not really. So, of course, they're like, damn it. How? And why? And Naruto just said because it's fun. Well, then he didn't say it. But that's why, because Naruto wants fun and all that. <clears throat> and so, what's it called? Kakuzu and Deira, uh, I mean... Kakuzu and Hiran are going to where Naruto's location is at. Because it's a very powerful person. Maybe the Akasa can use him. And so when they get there, they say, Hello there, we want you to be in the Akasa. And Naruto refuses. And then Hiran kind of rushes and says, Okay, then die! And Naruto just says, huh, Why would I die when you're supposed to die first? And so Naruto... Kind of like uses his hand and goes into a glowing white stage because of the red Renny gun, uh, Renny, yeah, red Renny shotgun gun. This is what the ability is now can allow him to do. This, uh, Renny gun can actually allow him to take the chakra away from his foes, even if they have like some kind of immortal ability or something. Naruto legit goes and uses his like white hand. To grab Hiran and take his chakra, all of his chakra, every single chakra that Hiran had, and starts eating it like an Usuzuki. He makes a fruit out of Hiran's chakra and just starts eating it. <laughs> and that actually gives Naruto more power. Not another tail for his like 12 tails. Yes, Naruto has basically 12 tails. Should I say? Yeah, 12 tells in total. And he just says, well, that was a delicious snack. Mm. Of course, Naruto isn't immortal. I mean, if you call him Utsutsuki immortal, I guess. But Naruto was like, this is, that was delicious. And Hiran was, uh, not Hiran, Kakuzu was like, what the hell did he do to Hiran? Hiran is now just dead fully. And Kaku was like, he's so shocked that not or not this kid just easily killed Hiran like it was nothing. And he thought it was immortal. So, of course, Kaku is right now fighting against uh, Naruto. Or Naruto right now is just like, 
absorbing the chakra. Every chakra attack uh, Kakazu throws at what's it called? Naruto. And Naruto's like, please, if you could even hit me once, that's funny because you can't. Huh. And of course, so then Kakazu goes after Naruto to punch him on the and uses uh, like his hand to like grab Naruto's ankles and throw him down the ground. Naruto's thrown down on the ground. Naruto gets up easy, like, please, is this all you have? Because that's such a disappointment. And Naruto, of course, gets another, his, like, white glow hand and all that. And Kakuzu already knows what the hell this is, tries to dodge it. And he did manage to dodge it. But one of his hearts didn't manage to dodge it, so of course Naruto absorbed that chakra and just starts eating it. He's like, so that's what it is. I see now. Since his IQ kind of did kick in instead of insanity and all that, ah, uh, he just says, I see. So those five little masks that you have, if I crush them all, well, I mean, I already destroyed one, so it's now four, I can take. Your life. Interesting. So Naruto speed blitz through all of those masks and crush them all easily. Smashing one of the masks, like grabbing and smashing it. Slicing the other one. And then just like doing a juice with the other one. And Kakus was like, no, I can't die. And Naruto does grab him with the white hand and like just rips out the chakra. And Naruto said, like, oh, this is good. And now he has 13 tails in total. Naruto has now a 13 tail Shinshiriki. And so Naruto is now just saying, Well, what should I do? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'll do something later. So, of course, Naruto leaves that place. Of course, he then now just see what's it called. He sees black and white Zetsu, and he actually teleports right in front of black and white Zetsu, and he says, Hello there, you must be the Kaguya thing, the whole Kaguya plan. And what's it called? Zetsu was at Kuta. How the hell did you notice me? And then Zetsu noticed uh, Naruto's eyes, and those are the red, runny, shining on eyes. How do you have those? Only the Juby can have them. With someone who absorbs a juby. And Naruto says, Don't worry. You want to know how many tail for the Chinchuriki I have? And Black Zetsu was like, How much? 13 tails. And Black Zetsu was like, Bullshit. No one has that many. And Naruto says, Not to me. But I am a god. I am a new Suzuki if you think about it. So now Naruto is just like, well, Black Zetsu, I can't let you bring back Kaguya. And so Black Zetsu was like, that if you can actually catch me. Naruto was like right in front of him. And did both the sun and moon seal to seal basically uh, Black Zetsu away with White Zetsu. And so Naruto was like, interesting. I guess he's not gone. Now, I can actually do whatever I want, can I? Had to stop in Kaguya from getting resurrected. Alright, I gotta deal with the other Katsu members before they do something stupid like that. Yeah. But, this is where I'm actually gonna leave it off. And now, next part is either the last part... Or not. I can't tell when I'm going to do it. So yeah. Have a nice potato day. Potato night. Potato sleep. And potato potato.